standing at my door and this is what you see when you walk in. Um, the enclosure is in the corner, right there. My room's a little messy, um, trying to ignore that, but basically I just keep Lumos in the corner of my room, next to my bed, next to my desk, and that's basically the only spot where um, the enclosure could fit because my room is too small to handle anything. So yes, I um, am holding this lamp with my tripod because I don't have a lamp stand and I don't really have anything <laughs> else to hold the lamp right now. So right now I'm using my tripod. Not practical, but it works. Basically, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the actual enclosure itself. So this is a 20 gallon rarium, I guess is what you would call it. I'm not sure. Um, it was in the reptile section at PetSmart, which is where I bought it. And um, I think it was made for like bearded dragons or something like that but i made it vertical so i just flipped it vertically instead of horizontally and it makes it really big for lumos to just climb around and jump around because crested geckos are arboreal so that means that they like to climb they don't like staying at the bottom but lumos does like to sleep down here sometimes down here i have this critter keeper that i put lumos in when i'm cleaning his home so I just keep that down there because it doesn't fit in there because all of his other things are in there. Basically, I just have boxes of like the bamboo sticks, um, extra p wood pieces and just random things like that I keep in there. It's really messy, so I'm not even gonna attempt to show you. And I also have my bag of Ego Earth down there. So right here next to the terrarium, I have the little forceps that I use to feed Lumos crickets when I do feed him crickets, which is not often. This is really messy, it's super old, so try to ignore that. But I have some Crested Gecko Diet, this homemade one that I got at like a reptile expo. Two bags of the Crested Gecko Diet with insects. Then I have the watermelon and mango one. Then I have the banana and papaya one, and then I have the rapashi one, which Lumos is not really a fan of. Then I have a whole pack of these small cups, paper towels, and the misting bottle that I use. And then I also have a bottle of Repti Calcium, which I put on the crickets before I feed them to Lumos. You guys are wondering what heat lamp I use because you're not supposed to use heat lamps for crested geckos only because um, they don't really need it, but my room, the air and heat doesn't work. So I have this in my room to kind of regulate the temperature to what it needs to be during the day and at night, because if not, Lumos will basically freeze to death. So what I use is this Fluker's clamp lamp with a dimmer. So basically right here and dim the lights or you can make it hotter, just like that, as you can see. So during the day, I keep it a little bit higher, and then at night, I lower it just a little bit. Not the best lamp in the world, but it works for what I use it for. And then I use this Nightlight Red Reptile Bulb, and the lowest it goes is 40 watts, at least for what I saw at Petco, which is where I bought this. Like I said it's really not a hot heat lamp at all, and the red light does not affect their sleeping patterns, so Lumos has not been affected by the light at all. It works great. It says a nightlight, red lamp but it can be used for 24 hour heat as you can see on the box so I basically just keep it on all day and it doesn't affect his sleeping pattern at all. So I got this digital thermometer and hygrometer from Pangea's website and as you can see right now in its cage it is 74 degrees and 59% humidity because I've not sprayed the cage. Um, there should be a part in the day where there shouldn't be as high as humidity, there should be a dry period. So that's the period right now. If I didn't have the heat lamp on, it would probably be about 65 degrees in my room because that's pretty much how cold it is in my room, which is not good for the daytime for crested geckos. So that's why I have this heat lamp. Keeps it a good, you know, 75 degrees. So by no means am I saying that this is a perfect setup for a crested gecko. I still need to get so much more of these like fake plants and leaves to put all around. It's a little blank. But right now, um, it works for him. I need to buy a lot more of these so he can hide more. But for right now, he seems like he's doing great. I would take this front screen off, but he's right there and I don't want him to run out. I know he's probably asleep because it's daytime, but I don't want him to run out. So I'm just gonna keep the screen on. Hopefully you can still see pretty well. But basically, I just have two of these fake plants that you can buy at like PetSmart. 
just suction cupped to the sides. And in this back part right here, um, if you don't know what it is, it's a Harry Potter hammock, which I totally recommend going on Etsy and buying one. Lumos almost sleeps in it every single time he is asleep and he loves cuddling in that hammock. It is so cute when he's inside of it. I love when he pops his little head out of it. I wish he was in it right now so I could show you, but I guess he decided that he wanted to sleep right there today. I have these Fluker's bamboo sticks, which are pretty popular in Crystal Gecko terrariums. I bought these on Amazon. They work okay. I mean, they're pretty cheap feeling, but Lumos always likes to walk around on them. Then I have this like hook right here that you can buy at, like Walmart, and I just have the vine kind of wrapped around it with the thermometer and hygrometer little probe thing right there. And I just use that hook because it's just easier to keep the vine around it. He doesn't really walk on the vines that much. Um, I don't really like the vines that much to be completely honest. They don't really hold their shape and they're just really annoying. But for right now I just keep it in there for a little bit of decoration. And I have the magnetic food bowl right there. Um, that is some Crested Gecko diet from last night. Um, I fed him a couple crickets, so he hasn't been eating that as much, but that's there just in case he wants to eat it. So I believe this is the All Living Things 20 gallon tank, and it has like this opening right here, so you just open it like that, and basically I just refill his food from opening that right there. And if he's right near the front, I can grab him, but usually I have to open the whole lid if I want to grab him to hold him or something like that. Another leaf plant, and as you can see, he is sleeping behind that right now. I'm not gonna bother him, he's asleep. And down here, I just have a wood piece that I got from that kit that I unboxed a long time ago when I got Lumos. I have more pieces of wood. I have a little plant down here, which he loved at Petco when he was at Petco when I got him. So I just bought one, and he loves to sleep underneath the leaves right there. And then I just have other random pieces of wood, and then it's also on about two inches, two and a half inches of Eco Earth is down there. That's basically all that's in his cage. Like I said, I need to add a lot more things that he can hide around in, but I am trying my best to make his home as perfect as possible. He seems to really be growing in this ever since I moved him to this 20 gallon because adults should be a minimum of a 20 gallon. This terrarium was not really that expensive to be honest. It was probably $50, maybe a little bit more than $50, which is not bad for something that's 20 gallons. And it's not the best ever. It's kind of cheaply made. It kind of sucks at closing sometimes, but it's also not meant to be on its side. And I like that it has this little door, so it's okay. It works for what I'm using it for. So I hope this video was informative. It helped you at all so you guys can set up your Cresta Gecko cages. Like I said, it's not perfect. Um, I still need a lot more things to get for him, but he's growing, he's doing amazing, and I absolutely love having him as a pet. He's an amazing animal. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.